Okay, let's, let's start. Today I would like to speak on another uh, technique of power flow solution, of network's normal regime solution. I have a small demo there. One second, I'll switch. It's another illustration. What I got here, I have a box loaded with the red lamp. I have ability to change voltage and you see uh, it's a current and it's uh, consumed power. Let's see, for example, 150 volts. What do we see? Uh, 45 watts of power and 0 or 5 amps consumption. 200 volts. Like this. 038 consumption. The voltage is only 230 volts. 034 consumption. Power still, uh, oh, 46, 46 watts. Yeah, 46 watts. So, take a look. Voltage down, current up. Voltage up, current down. But take a look on the power. Voltage down, power sticks. Voltage up, power virtual unchanged. What what's inside the box? It's a power supply from uh, PC. It has internal regulator. Load is power through. It's a PVM based voltage regulator. We see here load with virtual constant power. So how can we solve a network with such kind of load? Red lighting, same thing. Uh, all kind uh, of, uh, let's say, uh, frequency drivers. Same thing, we will see constant load. How to solve it? Another technique, let's see, I'll switch camera. Can we use? Uh, so, what's the problem? Let's say we have a non uh, linear nodal voltage equation. For example, for case of S constant, for constant, or P, Q are constant, for constant power load. This D is DR of conjugated power divided by square root of 3 to make it a card, it's for a current power voltage. Voltages. Divided by voltage. Conjugate voltage. What do we see? Nonlinear equation system describing here uh, our, uh, our power system uh, as an equation of current balance. Here 
can be anything function of voltage if you want. I took a simple example of constant load. More complex load can be defined with its characteristic, no problem. Problem is that this equation cannot be solved analytically, don't have analytic solution. How to solve it? We can apply, as I uh, showed in our previous lecture, modified certain technique. But it's solved. In reality, it's solved. We can speed up solution, especially if it will work, if we need to calculate uh, multiple, multiple regimes with same network configuration and changeable uh, loads of generation. In such case, profitable will be to find inverse Model admittance matrix, so we will have inverse D O inverse plus S, which will yield us voltage inverse nodal admittance matrix plus base node voltage. This looks like a ready iterative form. We can use it for uh, iterative solution. Just right here. Next and here previous. And you have iterative form. For me, for me, better to uh, modify it well a little bit, uh, applying uh, the idea similar to the idea. So use voltages more precise voltage from the next step. Uh, at the moment when they became available. So, iterative form will be next voltage at the node I can be found as sum change from 1 to I minus 1 inverse uh, D divided by voltage from the next step. Plus some change if to the number of nodes, its number of nodes, uh, inverse nodal admittance matrix divided by conjugated voltage from previous step plus, plus base node voltage. It should be done for I starting from one to number of nodes. Precision, we need to stop somewhere, can be found in the similar way as usual as a maximum absolute difference. Next, previous, it's easy. Current branch current, no problem. Inverse 
resistance matrix transpose easy well uh, what should be noted this technique itself solution with this iterative form is approximately two times faster than the modified Zadie. It works very well, but to obtain an inverse nodal admittance matrix, we need approximate number of nodes, few operations. So it's profitable, really. When we need to recalculate the same schematics, same lines, same transformers, but with different load and di or different generation, it will be profitable uh, to solve one single regime. No, it will not uh, pay itself. One moment, I would like. I would like to show a solution in MATLAB environment. One second before we start. What do we see? I got a very simple network of six lines, uh, line lines in kilometers. To simplify, uh, all lines are made of same var connections, first incidence matrix. Very simple uh, measurements. MS, uh, it's from Latvian uh, mass goes kites. It's a number of nodes. ZS, Zarus kites, number of branches. Three words, one generator, power matrix. I need to define a base node voltage. Here you can see the uh, D. Uh, I don't need a mat matrix actually because it's pure diagonal. I, I will store the elements in a vector. Uh, branch admittance. As a first step, or uh, let's say zero approximation, I will use base node voltages. I also need transposed uh, first incidence matrix, case nodal admittance matrix, M multiplied by inverse resistance and by M transposed. This part is uh, matrix inversion by the Jordan exclusions. Uh, you can uh, use simple built-in inf function of MATLAB. Actually, it's, it's not needed. You can use built-in function without any problem. And now, solution itself. While precision 
not achieved. Take a look. Here is the first sum. Here is the second sum. And uh, precision. Uh, one remark on this form. You can uh, you may ask I have over a vector here and here. One rem uh, uh, the moment is what uh, I use uh, element starting from first to the I in the first and from, uh, from I minus one and from I to number of nodes in the second sum. Actual uh, operation areas, as it means, uh, if you allow me to use this one, do not overlap. So I can use one united voltage vector for both new or uh, precise voltage and old, no problem. So here, uh, in the manner similar to the classical SAID, uh, I use it our iterative form uh, to uh, get voltage. After precision achieved, I can calculate currents and wait a power flow so if branch has connection to the node i can find a power flow as square root multiplied by voltage and multiplied uh, to free and multiplied by conjugate of current i will get complete Flow of power uh, losses are find as free because we have free phase uh, branch resistance current conjugated current. Okay, I, I need the sum total uh, power of load. This for find this. Number it's a uh, overall network efficiency. Make it work. One second, I'll switch here. So what do we got? Five steps, five iterations, voltages, current by branch, not a voltage, current by branch. Uh, power flow by branch losses overall load and network efficiency 97 percent if you saw my previous uh, lecture you can see what di uh, digits do much but I made a few steps, but I paid with uh, inversion of nodal admittance matrix. Something like this. Questions?
don't see any okay what's chance for a question 